here we are at the Atlanta Ceramic Art Show, and this is the front entrance to the venue. And as you see, you can see it's a rather large venue. So what we will do now is we will start and go around the show and talk to the vendors and people who are showing how to do the different crafts. We're going to start right here with the uh, uh, area they have to display the different uh, pieces that people put out to be judged. Uh, this is not the main thrust of the show, but it's here every year, and people do bring their stuff to be judged. That's all right. And so really a lot of nice things. And this is the end result. This is what a lot of people do with the bisqueware that they get here and uh, some of it a good bit of it is painted and then there is a lot of it that is glazed so the things that you can do with this are endless okay. we're going to start here this is a uh, a booth that sells bisqueware and uh, I'm sure they have something to do with the tables to my left that uh, are set up to teach people how to paint. And it's all one the paint and stuff that's available here is outstanding. This is uh, uh, a lot of really beautiful paint. I think these are acrylics. And I see this company is fashion huge and it just goes without saying that you can get any color that you want here uh, continue on with uh, every brush that you could possibly ever need and this is silver falcon brushes okay let's continue on here this next booth is uh, selling bisqueware. And they have all kinds of neat stuff. You just go crazy here at this show, picking out different kinds of bisqueware that you need. And this one is Patty's Pristine Ceramics. So, there you go. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of. Okay. This booth here is, is they sell like they sell paints, probably sell some glazes, all kinds of different things to be applied. And we have lots of people we'll work around them. And they also are giving some instructions here. <laughs> I do um, have how to do stuff. I do have. If you'd like a color chart, I can email it to you. So if you want to email me, it just say fabric color chart, fabric color chart. Yeah, and here and we have <laughs> this one and some by Laura. And you see, there's also a lot of bisqueware over here. Lots and lots of bisqueware. And as you see, it's set up also to for people to learn or improve their art at painting this bisqueware. This is a uh, another booth that sells bisqueware. They have an excellent example here of, of some painting on it. What do you call this painting, huh? What's it, what's uh, it dry call? brush. It's dry brush. Okay. And my daughter is excellent at doing it. Uh, we do both dry brush. She does both dry brush and glaze. So this booth here is uh, got a large selection of stuff, as you can see. Okay. And, uh, and impressions in clay. These things are really nice right here for uh, stamping clay and personal thing and another.
Okay, here we go. There's even even more of these stamps. These you can see these last year. We may have to come back and purchase some of these before it's over with. But uh, this is a rather large booth here. Uh, I don't see a sign. But uh, we last it, gentlemen. All right. Then you're gonna block the chair so we're we can sit there. All right. So whose booth is this? If you don't mind me asking, I'm doing a video for the show. It's learnfirearts.com. Okay. Great. I just need to see a sign. We usually try to yep. photograph the sign. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. And man, there's a lot of stuff here. I'll probably never get my daughter out of here. <laughs> and it looks like on the backside back here is another uh, deal where they're going to set up and show people how to do. Man, if you want to learn how to do this stuff, this is the place to be. I probably have to heavily edit this video. There's a lot of people at this show. There's a lot of bisqueware at this show. And I've got to go all the way around it and then down the middle. And I hope I have enough film, not film, card. But as you can see, this is the bisqueware. This is, this is Brenda's Palace Ceramics. And they have all kinds of things in the back there's glazes back there and all kinds of things that you need to do the ceramics whoop okay and here is a booth where they're showing people how to paint and it's a young man here having at it okay how you doing you're just painting away well, that's what you get to do. We don't know what happened. Uh, more glaze, I mean, more uh, a bisqueware here. I mean, if you're looking for bisqueware and you don't come to this show and you live within driving distance, then you are missing out because if you want it, it's here. And some finest bisqueware that I've ever seen, and I can guarantee you most of this stuff here is made in the USA. Uh, because I own some of these molds. Don't own some of the big ones, but I own a lot of these molds, and so I can tell you they do the bisqueware. Okay, let me see here. Excuse me, sir. Whose booth is this? If you don't mind me asking. Of course, uh, Brendan's bare feet. Okay, thank y'all. Appreciate it. Okay, we'll move on over here to glass or ceramics. And Glasser's got one of the bigger displays here. I mean, they've got everything. They've got the paints. They've got the glazes. They've got, you name it, they got it. And uh, can't say much more. Uh, they are one of the, if not the major sponsor of this show. And it is always tough to get what you need in a basket and get to these people to pay for it. It's just uh, always a line to get in when no matter what you're buying. But if you need it, Glasser has it. And I can't wait until later to uh, pick up my order here. Uh, there are so many people we're having a hard time getting to. What we need to get to. Okay. Here we go. This is glass or ceramics right here, okay? We're going to work our way down, and we'll probably have to come back. There's just so many people here, and uh, we can't even get to the displays, so it'll be, it'll be no problem. We'll come on back here in just a minute. All right. There you go. give you some idea of how big this uh, this venue right here is and they always have big specials here always offer specials at this show okay. so many things I'm gonna have to pick up I, could, I hope I can remember I hope I can remember. Mm -hmm. 
and men Stephanie will definitely be coming back here this is the uh, where they have a all the colored lights and things that goes in the Christmas trees that we do a lot of and it's better to pick them out here rather than online because number one you can pick the colors you want see Stephanie's already at it already and uh, you also save on the shipping and the shipping can be quite expensive uh, when you're ordering a lot of this stuff so we'll be back here let's continue around the loop I remember this booth from last year. Uh, these things are awesome right here. I don't know whether I, I know I don't have the uh, the patience to uh, paint one of them, but maybe Stephanie does. I tried to find the mold last year and couldn't find it. Uh, so I'll have to ask this gentleman again to get one of his cards. But. Uh, I have ordered molds from him before, and they are good molds. He does really good molds. How you Hi. do, sir? I was just telling my viewers here that <clears throat> I talked to you last year about one of these things here, uh -huh. and I never could, I never could locate it online. But I, we'll talk to you before we leave. Okay. But it is some really, really nice stuff. I mean, stuff is beautiful. And like I said, their molds are great. I still use some of them that I have. Okay. Okay. A lot of these people are in the same place every single year. And uh, so it's, you come one year, you come back, they're, st they're still here. And uh, so if you have any issues or you need instructions, they'd be more than glad to talk to you. I haven't uh, run into anybody yet who wasn't, you know, really, who was really uh, helpful. Everybody's helpful. And as you notice by looking at the signs that there is uh, vendors from all over the country here. So this is Bisquare and it's really nice. And here is a very big middle of the aisle display. Uh, my wide angle lens is not wide angle enough to get it all in. We'll go down here and try to try to shoot around, pan through here so you all can see, but it's big. It's all bisquare, but he has everything that you could possibly think of. And it is really nice. And I have my sign, but I'll be more than asking. Sir, can I ask y'all, sir? Can I ask you who, who has this booth here? I'm doing a video for the show. <laughs> hey, how you doing? What, what's the name of your booth here? This, this, this and that ceramic. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay. Wow, that's just a lot of stuff. Okay. All right, we're going down. Uh, we'll go over here to this booth. This gentleman here is... Looks like he's selling glazes. Okay, and kiln. And you can buy a kiln here. You can get all kinds of, of, of glazes and stuff. Might not be quite as big, but so, How you do, sir? And we'll start down this side. There's a lot of, of dry brush stuff here. It's all beautiful. And as I said, I can't do this, but my daughter can. Um, wow, well, look at that. You get some assorted glitter for a dollar. It just can't say enough how much stuff there is here. He's still the owner. We haven't seen him in a while. He is actually, despite being a very good teacher. Okay, we'll go over here to. North Georgia Ceramics, it looks like they sell Bisquare. Again, if I had to guess, every single bit of this is probably made in the USA. Uh, I know I bought stuff from China, but most of these molds I recognize as being molds that are sold by US manufacturers. So, there you go. I hope this video is not too jerky. It's really hard to work around the crowd that's here because there are a lot of people here. B&B Ceramics, and they also sell 
to be a square. And there's always a there's always a grab box. That's always you know neat. I look at these <laughs> We all like those. Okay, here we go. They just you just walk around and browse. You can look this stuff over. Hey, stop running. There you go. Would y'all? Yeah. Would y'all mind telling me who owns this booth? I'm doing a video. For the show. Do. Okay, and you are? Uh, Philip and Beth. You have a company name? Oh yeah, I, re I remember now. I got it over there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, this is the neat stuff here. Uh, it looks like most of this is glazed. What do you think? That's, do you think that's dry brush, isn't it? We're not good enough to glaze that, are we? <laughs> but this is this is some neat, neat, neat stuff. I mean, if you're looking for uh, one of a kind items and stuff, I mean, they've got it here. We don't sell the candy. Oh yeah. Okay. I enjoyed that so much. And here we go with H and K Enterprises mold manufacturing. So, love it. We'll try to get a. Excuse me, ma'am. We'll try to get us a, uh, make sure everybody's email or websites is on the video at the bottom. I think I can get that from the show people. But it is really, really nice. Seasonal stuff is real popular here too. You, you might as well get ready for the season now. Because if you're going to paint this stuff, it's going to take you a while. Okay. And we're here at... Uh, this venue, this is the back side, there's nothing to see. We're going to have to move around here. And these people are always at the show too, and they sell stilts. And those are for firing your ceramic stuff. These are stilts right here, for those of you who don't know. Most of you do. And this gentleman's company has stilts for everything. Every year he has these here, and they have it. I would imagine they can provide you with anything you could possibly imagine. So, that's always good to know. Stilts have to be replaced from time to time. Okay. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. All right, and then we've got have some more bisqueware here. And this is K and G ceramics. And they have some awfully pretty things here. Some unusual things. They're really nice. Yes. Okay. You got sandwiches? Yeah. All right. What I wasn't gonna do holiday. Okay, and as I had mentioned before, there's just more bisqueware than you can imagine. I like those leaf man faces. I don't have that mold, but I have some similar ones. Okay. Now we're over here at Allison Ceramic side now, and uh, that's where most of my molds come from. I buy a lot of things from Allison Ceramics, and it's going to be tough to get in here. Uh, it's always crowded here, always crowded. Hardly ever get enough time to say anything to Frank. But he always has all the latest molds that uh, have been put out by the people he sells for. And there's always examples and they're glazed or they're painted. So many people I can't get in here. But we'll work around, we may come back and get, these, get it when it's not so crowded. It's always crowded, isn't it? We came early. We came today so we would try to beat tomorrow's crowd. We'll see. How's old man doing? He's all right. He's all right. I hope he brought all my molds and clay. <laughs> but anyway, this is this is Allison Ceramics, and they are always at this show, and they always have just absolutely beautiful stuff. If you come to Allison Ceramics booth and you've already placed your order for stuff i guarantee you you won't leave here 
until you buy whatever the latest and greatest you have. That's just, that's just the way it is. So that's it. All right, I think this is going to be about the last booth we have on this video. We may do some different footage uh, as the show goes on, but I wanted to get all the booth out of the way and uh, so I could do some shopping. And we've got a lady here that thinks she knows what she's doing. Let's see. Hello. <laughs> What's the name of this booth here? Lady. Oh, yes, okay. Yes. All so right. All kinds of brushes and tools related to our industry. Okay. Yep. Well, I'm doing a video for the show. I mean, right. it's my own. Now. They ain't they ain't pay me to do it. I just do it every year. Oh, well, how fun. <laughs> but we'll we'll get uh we we'll get this done. All right. Okay. So if you need brushes, no problem, sir. If you need brushes and all, then that's it. And last but not least, we have uh, some exhibitors association. Some door prizes that they'll be giving away over the next two days. And there's some really nice stuff here. And it really is. So I've never been lucky enough to win any, but who knows? This could be my lucky day. Hey, what are y'all making? We're making I'm making a little bunny gnome. Oh, okay. Look. Love those gnomes, I'll tell you what. We just saw y'all freehanding over here and just kind of had some, we got to see what's going on here. We'll add this into the video. If I have enough room, you, you, you two may uh, charge me for this one. <laughs> y'all all making the same thing or do you just start at the same place? Oh, okay. the same place. There you go, that works for me. Mine always ends up at the same place too, usually in a big clump of clay to start over again with. <laughs> we'll come back later and see what everybody's doing. Exactly. All right, we'll, we're, we're going to be here a while. I may not be any better than this right here. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably going to be pretty neat. You know, just slap enough glaze on it and you get away with anything. <laughs> Thank y'all. Okay. All right. So what we got here? We got a face on it yet? Not yet. Not yet. Working towards it. His face will be right here. Oh, okay. All right. That's neat. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that free forming stuff is just a oh, lot of work. Somebody's got a rabbit going on here, I can see. Yes, a like <laughs> whole bunny. We got a whole row of bunnies. Yeah. A whole row of bunnies. Always got one oddball, don't you? Well, something besides a rabbit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Creepy looking. Look at Look at my I want to do the witch. Oh, we got the we got the spaghetti gun going. Yeah, oh, right. So if you have a hard time squeezing it, place it on the table, wrap your fingers around it, and then you get better leverage going this way. But your fingers prevent the clay from sticking to the side of the extruder. Because by the end of today, my arm is going to be like blubber <laughs> if I kept doing it the other way. Okay. Oh, we got another one here. We got a different one tree. Yes, going. Okay. Tree. All right. It's not a mine though, it's just a chance. Oh, that's all right. It looks neat. Thank you. I said, I'm the only one chose to be different. Oh, the lady on the other end, she's doing she's doing a little different one too. Yeah, everybody else. Y'all are non-conformist. I mean, everybody else is. Or, or something. I wanted to do a witch. On the play. This little paper is a nuisance. This little paper is a nuisance. What is this thing underneath? This is a clay extruder gun. All right. I think they're actually. I've got those two. Yeah, my son works at a restaurant. Yep. And like, take this dry for a couple weeks. And the, there's not much in there. You can add more and reconstitute it. If you're going to do it on a piece, you have more glaze on it. Paint your glaze areas first. Fire. Bring it out. And then you get. You're going to not stick it all in the water to get the or it's going to take forever to dry. Okay. And make sure they're cured for 24 hours, minimum before you do any coloring on the top. 
I like the, the the set for me. I, I mean, if I never sold another one, and uh, of course, like Frank says over here, detailing them's the killer. The what? The detailing these is what's the killer on them. Exactly. And that the uh, the thing to do is just come up with a solid color, opal less under something, you know. But uh, that's. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Do that. <laughs> you know that would that would be our problem. Is, you know, she does my detail work uh -huh. and. I'll dump glaze on them, and I'll fire them, and I'll make them. Kanji is another good, uh, if you're going to do it just in one color. It's a, it's not white, it's not clear, but it's kind of creamish and brownish, kanji, and it goes in the crevices. That's okay. very pretty, and if you want to do the gold on it. Okay, is that, is that what you're talking about? Is, it, is that a fire glaze, or is, a, is that a acrylic? Glaze, yes. Okay. Okay. And, but that's what people used to do in the back, in the old days. That's okay. kanji. Kanji. Now, whether it's still available or not, and I don't know if it was Duncan or I'm pretty sure it was him. I don't know. She's, she, I don't know if it was Duncan or. She's also my research person uh, and my daughter, rather than not, not just the artist. Yeah. And I was, was going to tell you these gnomes here. Yes, ma'am. Is the mold, but she's manipulated them to make them pot sitters. You're not going to find the mold. That's one. That one right there. Yes. Uh, you're not going to find them yeah. like that. Yeah. She has, they originally look like that, right? Well, that one does. No, no, yeah. No. Listen, that, we, that one is totally re. I mean, that's serious. No, we, that one original. That's how that one looks original. Oh, uh, really? This one is totally redone. His really? bottom is totally sliced off. Okay, okay. So he does have the yeah. hanging down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. totally. This guy, all I did. I gotta pick up on this one because that's a, it's not done the same way. Uh, what I did on this one is I just cut this crevice yeah. and he fits. He fits on the pot. Yeah. But the problem is I have a hard time. I have a hard that's time. A, getting that's that's a pot setter, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. This one, this one for sure is. He's the one oh, I did. Yeah. I don't have to. You don't have to do I really don't have to do anything to him. Yeah. That's yeah. the way he comes. Yeah. And okay. the, the way we this out was I was sitting in my living room and I had a glass of water and I was playing around with him and I sat him on my glass of water and went oh my gosh I called her I'm like Kathy <laughs> we can put him on a pot <laughs> That's true. we manipulate all kinds of molds I'll make them I'll even make them if I have to yeah, exactly. I got I bought plaster by the 80 pound bags <laughs> Yeah, she's got a mold that she wants somebody to uh -oh. uh, Elberton, Georgia. Oh. And that's about <laughs> 75 miles from here. You guys are, well, Locust Grove. Locust Grove. Yeah, I'm in Locust Grove. I'm she's in Locust Grove. Okay. Still, we Not consider all that local. Yeah. We consider Not, it local. Yeah. Not far from me. So. All right, ladies, I appreciate the, the, all the information and letting me video this. It's pretty <laughs>